How's it going, everybody? In fact, is in here coming at you guys with the Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants. Round 2 card dis discussion? Uh, I was about to say card discussion, but it's multiple cards packaged into a box of sorts discussion. And um, yeah, so Battle Pack 2, unsuccessful as it was, had a couple of good reprints Megalo, Card Card D, and Megalo being almost impossible because I'm pretty sure there was only like three or four water types or water attributes that were um, usable in that set to um, whatever. And it's awful in draft, but that's beyond the point, even though it's meant for draft, which is where Konami really fucked up. And so it was pretty unsuccessful. Of course, it never sold as well as, you know, their Shadow Spectres or Legacy of the Valiant, which was a terrible fucking set. And other sets, um, oh, Legacy of the Valiant hasn't even fucking come out yet. I'm fucking retarded. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wow, I meant Judgment of the Light is what I meant, actually, which was a pretty bad set. Just saying, the best card was, what, Bujin Yamato, and it's $20. I think that's the highest card, or Star Eater was, like, is like 25 as an ulti or a ghost or whatever. But, you know, that set's pretty bad, considering uh, Tachyon Galaxy's Draco Sack is still going 80 apiece. Um, yeah, like, it was such a bad set, they just have to put it all together and make a round two. Instead of making Battle Pack 3, which would have been cooler in my opinion, just continue making Battle Packs. Um, even though Battle Packs are awful, I only like them because they reprint some shit that I need every time. So, yeah. Uh, so they're repackaging it. Uh, they're making... Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to have, what, five packs per box here? Or, I think... Or maybe it'll be like the ten packs and boot and the mat thing that they used to do. But each pack contains 16 cards, which is a lot. 1 Ultra, 6 Supers, and 9 Common cards. And it has the same 215 cards from Battle Pack 2 and 98 new cards, which is pretty cool. Um, looking at the cards that haven't been spoiled yet, but they've been playtesting with. And hopefully, some of these do make it to the end. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, the reason how people actually... The only reason, I'm sorry, that people actually... Um, bother with this set is because of the reprints no one wants to play draft in Yu-Gi-Oh! everyone wants to you know make their deck be like yo I made that deck I net deck the fuck out of that deck whatever the fuck they say um they want to use their own deck they don't want to use like MST uh you know like random shit that they fucking happen to pull and if you pull fucking awful what are you gonna fucking do so like I don't like basing shit on luck because me myself I am not a very lucky person so the cards I would probably pull would be like Megalo with like fire monsters and stuff like that. And it just wouldn't be fun times for me because, you know, losing l like that, like not even being outplayed, just you just don't have the cards to outplay your opponent with is kind of stupid. And they're even further making this set, like forcing it upon us, like shoving it down our fucking throats by top 16 from now on has to play in sealed, which is retarded, even though probably unless like I get like retardedly lucky I will never make top 16 so it really does not affect me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be one of those people that bitch oh uh, top 16 a uh, fucking stupid retardedness no you're never gonna make top 16 almost likely 99% of you guys that complain about it will not make top 16 at a YCS and that's just a fact of the matter because you know there's a thousand people that play every almost every YCS and only the 16 of them are gonna have to go through this bullshit so yeah so that's another reason how they're pushing this pro um, I don't have Wing Dragon of Raw anymore as a cover card, which is hilarious. Slifelisk, just supreme. And instead they have an Ice Barrier, which is kind of dumb, and a Majestic Mech. And then, like, Kaiku's Evil Brother. And so far, these are the list of the cards that they're playtesting with. Um, seriously, I don't feel like there'll be any Dragoonity reprints, so this will almost be impossible to make the Sealed Tournament. But, and Big Eye, I don't see them making Sevens. I don't see... Well, actually, save them will be amazing. I don't see the spell books being used either. So see, like, they're not making this to uh, to play sealed. They're making this, or well, ma they're making it half sealed and half reprints to people to buy it. You know, that's exactly like. Be honest, like, what the fuck? They're not gonna reprint spell book cards. They're not gonna reprint dragoonity cards. And why the fuck would you summon fucking? Like, <laughs> the only usable one is save zone out of all of these, which is actually pretty fucking good. And here are some of the cards that they're doing that they're uh, reprinting. Evil Storm Heliotrope is kind of weird. They're going to reprint it as another super rare or something. Or maybe they could reprint it as an ultra, which would be pretty cool. And then, like, random crap. Chao Lin is a pretty good one. Camera Clops is decent. Megamorph is amazing. Oh, my God. And especially in Sealed. Berserk Gorilla is decent. Um, and that's pretty much all I, I see that's decent. I mean, all, obviously, cards are decent. Like, Black Pendant is very good in Sealed to play. 
I know because when I used to play those uh those GBA po Pokemon, <laughs> the GBA Pokemon games with Black Pendant in them. Um, when I used to play, uh, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh Game Boy games, I used to wreck face with Black Pendant. Black Pendant was like Black Pendant OTK type shit. Um, yeah, so overall this set is pretty good, only because one, well, because of the five ultra rares that have been confirmed: Safe Zone, Vargiana, Big Eye. Fog King and Priestess. That's the only reason that this set will make money. And even if they don't make money, I could see why. Because it's fucking Battle Pack and it blows dick. But that's just my opinion on the matter. What do you guys think about Battle Pack 2, Round 2, point five and a half? Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. In fact, you seen it now. Have a good one, guys. Peace.